Hi, my beautiful family, and welcome to another of my videos. Before we start, if you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you'll subscribe and be part of Didi family. But if you're an old subscriber, I'm so happy to see you here too. I'm very excited to do this video today because I am actually going to try the new Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette. This is a palette volume two, and I really love the volume one. I've been using it a lot. Uh, when it just came out, I haven't used it for a long time because I do test new palettes, but that one is one of my favorite and I still grab for it. So I do really like it. She looks beautiful here. I mean, I do, I'm not the maybe the biggest fan of Jaclyn Hill, but I do like her products. I also like the Vault collection. I know there have been mixed re reviews about that. Some people like that. Some people don't like that. I had issues with a couple of shades, but I do like it. The product. I do like the vault collection too. I have that one also. But first of all, this is a beautiful palette. I actually, um, when I saw this, I was kind of not disappointed, but it was, it was a little bit outside my comfort zone. And I don't usually use these kind of colors, but I wasn't actually the one that thought I need this one in my collection. But after watching her video and uh, watching her describe the co colors and swatch them, of course, I wanted to have it. Something woke my int interest uh, in this palette and I got it. I bought it from uh, the Morphe website and ordered it the day it launched. It came after three days. Three days to Sweden. I'm so surprised. Fast shipping, love that. Always for fast shipping. This is how the palette looks. You probably, oh, there goes the plastic. You've probably seen this everywhere. These colors are so interesting. I'm going actually to try and to use um, two different um, eye makeup looks. I'm going to create two different eye makeup looks and that's something I don't usually do, but I want to try so many colors and I've already seen a little bit of different reviews that people some people really like the palette some people are not big fan of all of the shades i need to test it out i'm not a makeup artist i just i'm a makeup lover and makeup uh, palette collect collector i collect eyeshadow palettes and i do really really enjoy morphe palettes and i don't own a lot of them but why not why not try it so let's start if you're interested to see what i'm going to create and what to think about this palette then please keep on watching That was a very long intro. I'm going to prep my eye with Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. And I um, love, love this primer. And I'm going to set it. Yes, I am going to set it. I know there are some, uh, I think, pressed pigments in that palette. Very bright colors. Maybe the best idea is not to set it. But if I don't set it, it's going to crease. And of course, I'm going to remove this makeup look when I stop filming because I'm going to have two different makeup looks. I can't go around having two different eye makeup looks on my eyes. That will be very weird. So I'm going to set it, set it and forget it. Use my Tarte blender tool just a little bit with Nikia Joyce powder. So you're very zoomed in and you see everything. And that is what I like. This is the real thing. This is the real thing. No filters, nothing, just me. And I'm going to go in oof, like this. I don't mind that it's not a big mirror in here because I have sometimes hard time to see myself in these mirrors. I don't usually use them. I want to go into purples and also reds. So the first I'm going to go in is uh, this color. I'm going to use as many colors as possible. So just want to warn you. Let's go in and do this eye first. I'm going to go in crazy, this shade here. Then almost matches my... Oh, it's pigmented. Uh, and some fallout in the pan, but never bothers me. The fallout never bothers me. That's why I, I don't also have any makeup on my face. So... I'm going to build up that shade. Some fallout. And the pigmentation is there. Oh, this is a beautiful shade. Look how wrinkly my eyes are. Maybe I should apply it 
with my eyes open so I don't cover the creases or I want to go in in this red shade that it's called living my best Whew. Mm, beautiful red these two are blending nice together beautiful it, I don't know if you can see, but there is some fallout in the pan. Not bothering me a lot, but uh, this one looks so beautiful. The heart on the shade neon looks so stunning. Beautiful shades. Oh, this one is beautiful. Oh my god. Such a stunning shade. And they are like blending nice to, into each other. Um, you can still see difference between the shades, which is nice. I'm going to go in and build them up a little bit more later, but intend, make them more intense. But so far, so good. I really like how everything goes into each other, but not blending in just the same shape. Then I really, really, really want to go into this positive tea. Sorry if I pronounce something wrong, but they are powdery. I mean, I won't lie, but it's, like I said, nothing that's bothering me. Okay. This one is bright, so we need to build it up. I don't know if you can see, guys, but the, all of the shades go nice into each other. Just this one is kind of, mm. okay. I don't know if you can see it, look, it looks patchy here. Like the color doesn't want to stick. You see, like it's blending away when I try to build it up. Doesn't want to stick. Can you see here? It looks a little bit patchy. I, know, I think I'm going to switch the brush and use a more flat one, see if we can build it up like that. No, 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 no. It's totally, mm -hmm. let's see if we can use it with a finger. I don't usually do, no, no, no. That's even worse. I don't know what happened. Everything was so good until I get, got into this positive tea color. That is just don't want to stick. The, like it looks like the first layer just stick there, but the rest of it is disappearing. As more as I try to pack it on, it disappears. I'm going to go back to this shade and kind of build them up. The ones that I and I'm going to try to use a, the love. Ooh. Do I want to? Yes, love handles this shade to kind of blend the edges a little bit. I don't know what happened when I went over with this shade. The crease looks patchy too. Going to go back and try to build up the shades again. We'll try to save it somehow. I'm going to back, go back to this eye and try other colors. I'm going to leave this eye. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but it's 
reds. They are a little bit harder to work with. Let's go into purples. I'm going to go in, I'm going to take another small brush and go into the black one, Tem Temtris, Temtris. Maybe they will work better if I didn't set the primer, but I always set my primer. And I just wanted to do like I always do. This black is nice. Go to deep up the corners and go into the purple. I want to go in um, Not My Journey, this one. So far, these are working very nice. I'm going to go in to uh, this uh, color therapy, therapy sesh or something like that, the brighter purple. This one is very nice and pigmented. I'm going to go back and kind of build that dark purple up a little bit more. And they are building nice on top of each other. So, so it, I promise it's going to look good when we finish the makeup look. I know it looks weird right now. I'm going to go into a blending brush and I want to take the Lolly Mam, this shade here and try to blend the crease a little bit. That would maybe be a mistake, but today is the day to make mistakes. This is doing the same thing. They don't want to work with blending brushes, not fluffy blending brushes, only packing brushes. Look, they look very, Patchy. If I go in with a big fluffy brush, the shades, pigmented, the other shades are getting just patchy. But when I go in a small packing brush and kind of try to slightly blend the edges, it works much better. Purples are working better. They are harder to make, but they work better than the reds. I do want to try shimmery shades but I want to use them as eyeliners. So I'm going to use a flat brush. I'm going to take this shade Empowered, this one, and go back to this eye and uh, do like a eyeliner with that shade. I want to try shimmer shades. This one is nice. Clean that and I'm going to go into this purple good place and go into other eye and try to create like eyeliner just to see how these are working on the eyes. Just to try them out a little bit. Yeah, that looks beautiful. If I wet it, it would be more intense. The shimmer shades, these two are nice. Let's see this one. This is like purple, the shimmer shades um, in it. It has like purple undertones. I'm going to go in and maybe try to pack it a little bit above. That's nice. A covered eyeliner that I made with that shade, but. Okay, I'm going to finish the makeup look on my face, makeup on my face, and I'll be back to finish these makeup looks and make it look something. Okay, guys, I'm back with some lashes, lipstick, and ready to go. Okay, it looks much better after applying eyelashes, and uh, let's go in and try to build that lower lash line up. So, where is my pointy brush that we need to clean? We do need to clean that one. 
um, so far I'm not really in love in this palette as much as I am in the first, the volume one. Now, could be that the problem could be that I set my primer, maybe not right primer for the eyes, maybe wrong brushes, but we'll try this palette more. I mean, it looks stunning and I do want to play with it more. Uh, but let's go and try the shades we didn't try, just to see how those are applying. I'm going to go in under my low lash line with this G Money or... No, yes, no, yes, no. Uh, homeboy, homeboy, this one. Let's go in with this one. Ooh, pigmented. Some of the shades transformed down here because I applied a little bit too much. Maybe that was the problem too. I applied a little bit too much. I'm desperate to make it work. Let's go in with this uh, feeling myself. This shade here. And I'm going to go into this first white shade that it's called Certified. Then I'm going to go for the next eye and I'm really going to use other shades that we, that I'm curious to try that I haven't tried. Let's go in with this shade Star Truth. And then I want to clean and use yellow. Let's go in with the yellow. I mean, maybe yellow will be odd with this orange, but I mean, look at these makeup looks. And we just made green. <laughs> I like that pop of yellow in there. And then we'll try to take that um, in it again, shimmery pink shade, purple, and just apply more here. So guys, this is the final looks. Now, which is your, which one is your favorite? I'm, I, I feel like they look nice, both of them uh, turned out okay. Now, I'm not used to deal with these kind of uh, colors. Uh, I know my foundation is not matching my body, don't look, don't watch. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I like both of them. I think they're pretty. I think they're nice. I'll definitely try to play more with this palette. I mean, uh, it's a little bit harder to work if you are a makeup beginner or maybe if you are not makeup artist and not used to apply makeup and play with pigments. I think it is some of them are pressed pigment and they are a little bit harder to work with. But I mean, it's an interesting palette. I do want to play with the nudes and more shimmer shades because I didn't use a lot of shimmery shades today and I really want to play with them a little bit more. Uh, I'll definitely do so. I'm not, I really like this palette so far. I'm disappointed that this one is patchy. This one turned patchy and this one also turned kind of patchy when I try to blend it, blend the edges of this, of these shades up. And I think I used, I'm not really sure, I think I used this one to try to blend this into the crease and that also looked a little bit patchy. I don't know if it's the brush or if it's because they are pigments, they're not supposed to go into crease, but I don't know. Uh, I'll try to play with it a little bit more and I'll let you know what I think about them. Um, I'll be better all with trying product, review products, and then come back and tell you if after a month or two what I really think about them. Did I change my mind or not? So far, I so far I just want to say don't rush and maybe buy this if you are scared um, of using these colors or if you're not used to use pigment shades and uh, want a colorful eyeshadow palette. Maybe this one. It's not really the easiest one to work with. I don't know. Just like I told you, these shades, three shades that I used, 
uh, this one, this one, and this one worked very nice. But when I went over to, with this one, which is beautiful, uh, it just didn't want to build up and look a little bit patchy. Um, but I want to go in and try more shades. Now I used a lot of, I used this part a little bit more and these two shades. I'm going to play with the, those more natural, neutral shades later. I don't know. If I knew that it would work like this, would I buy the palette? Yes, because I feel like I did make it look nice and I did make it makeup look looks makeup look look beautiful. That's my opinion. Let me know down below what you think. But I just feel like it needs more time to work with this better. I don't know. Is it better than the first one? No. Which one would I recommend? The first one, if you're more into neutral shades. If you're more into colorful shades and want to try it out and play with it, of course, I mean, it's not a bad palette, but there are some shades that maybe that doesn't work as I thought it would. But I try to play with it a little bit more and I promise I will update you soon. Let me know down below if there is any color here that you really want to know more about and may see me make uh, create makeup looks. I know in my now older videos, some of you guys told me that you wanted me to try those is a dark magic in that what it's called vault collection the dark green colors i know some of you wanted me to try it on camera and tell you what i think about it and i did so you appreciated that, that video is there any colors here that you want me to play with more maybe just apply one color all over my eyelid let me know down below if you're interested to see that if you are considering to buy this palette but there are always going to be some hit and misses with eyeshadow palette i mean this is not a bad palette some of the shades were better purple shades look work better work beautifully uh the crease i did make it work but i did have to blend it and put some uh, time in that <laughs> guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button and uh, be a part of Didi family and i see you in my next video i love you all bye